here once again everyone now i waited a week before i did this video because i honestly wanted to see if this little mermaid well this new disney little mermaid trailer that they put out the live action one was actually going to reach two million dislikes right and it it surpassed the two million dislikes you check out this article here disney's little mermaid trailer has 2.4 million dislikes on youtube now I, i'm certain by now that number has gone up right and i'm going to cover a few things in this video in regards to this trailer and i'm also going to talk about the big topic the racial factor that everybody has that seem to well disney seems to be trying to put out there as the reason why people are disliking this trailer so much. I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to touch on all of that. So let's bear with me. Let, let's take a look at this article here from our bounding into comics. First trailer for Disney's live action The Little Mermaid remake nearly near universally panned for poor visuals and unnecessary existence. I will say I could agree with that statement quite thoroughly because I saw no reason for this live action Little Mermaid thing to exist in the first place. I, I saw no reason for it to really exist. And I will explain a little later on as to why they did it and the real reason behind why they did it. But one of the reasons, one of the things I have a problem with is if, if you look at this picture here, for instance, where she's under the water, it doesn't really look like she's underwater at all. It really doesn't. And this article explains it because when I first saw the trailer, and I was, I was my thought, I was like, why doesn't this look like she's underwater? Let me get into it here. Okay, what is most assuredly the opposite outcome to the company and their die-hard loyalist expectations, rather than fanfare or praise, audiences have found themselves unimpressed with Disney's first preview of the live of their live action The Little Mermaid remake. Yeah, it came out September 9th. Uh, right um i think it's hallie bailey or this is Haley bailey so something like that is, is, is her name i'm not going to uh, i don't want to push any the, the, the um the, the woman's name but let's see right i listened to the i saw the trailer i didn't have a problem with her singing and I, I think her singing songs songs very nice no problem with that but when you go through the 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 overall take of it I mean, even with the discourse surrounding Ariel's race swapping aside, the film found few fans as while none took issue with Bailey's singing talent. Again, like I say, I find her singing sounding song really well. Many found the Little Mermaid itself to be so less unnecessary and simply visually unappealing, especially when compared to a number of previous and upcoming releases. Yeah. Some one person had this was some people on Twitter to say, bothers me how this doesn't look underwater at all. Yeah, it doesn't. Another one, like the ocean has a texture and it's just not pressing. Um press not just it looks like she's singing underneath a rooftop infinity pool or something. Cannot describe it right now, but the frame is just empty. Yeah, it doesn't look at all like she doing i mean who else had to say that aquaman movie was garbage well i would that get i did i didn't really like the aquaman movie at all on this channel. i really didn't like it but i didn't say it was garbage i just really didn't like the aquaman movie. but it at least managed to make it look like they were underwater yeah i will agree with at least they look like they were underwater somebody else say, i got to say it truly sucks how people are defending the visuals of the little mermaid Look at underwater sequences from Justice League, Aquaman, Avatar, The Way of Water, and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. They are underwater and look it and look it while still being colorful and vibrant. Yeah, all of this. Meanwhile, she's just there. And we all just acknowledge that this blows and doesn't exist without spending time finding a reason. Disney is the devil and would sell the okay, well I ain't gonna go through all of that. Um, Y'all mad at this tweet, but they are right. Halle sounds great, but it's but is stuck in the greatest, dullest looking ocean I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, the visuals for it didn't look very good. You start up with see her swimming through 
you think on any other when she's on the water singing it doesn't look like she's on the water it doesn't look like she looks like she's in some kind of underwater aquarium ceiling dome thing and she's singing that's all there's nothing else that that says to it well okay all all these realistic remakes are like this for some reason just dull and lifeless why copy the cartoon beat for beat when it comes to framing but just neglect color contrast set design art direction like we can't ask for much better and another rushed on the paid cgi job no? all these live action remakes that they keep doing doesn't sit well with me it doesn't look good it doesn't feel good at all they're taking away the essence of these shows when you have these these shows were made in the original cartoon form they were great they were fantastic they were fine they're even doing a, a live action um take on um simba's father mufasa i don't think i don't think anybody's interested in seeing that i sure as hell i'm not but when they did the live action lion king remake it made money people went and see but from what i from what i keep hearing from people who went and see it i i didn't want to see it and i hear any people who went and see it they say that you know it didn't look good the way that the, the way that the um that the, the, that the animals mouths and things were moving didn't look very good and the story just didn't have that same feeling to it because there's no more magic left at disney it's not about making things to really captivate you it's just about making something so they could make something that's really it. There's no more. Well, let's just see. Well, this year, over a million bubbles were hand drawn for the original Little Mermaid. You might as well be spitting in the face of all those animators with this lifeless CGI. Yeah, no bubbles, no nothing. And so it and so it goes. But as I stated before, the the, the trailer has 2.4 million dislikes on YouTube, and Disney has come out pushing the racism factor and a, a, a lot of people are coming out talking about how, you know, it's racist because people people don't like this little mermaid thing because why, what is it about, oh, so why can't a black woman be little mermaid and all this thing? Let, 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 me, let, me, let me just get into this and, and, and debunk that nonsense. Let me get into this and debunk that. There are stories in Africa of mermaids, of black mermaids. Eh? Why not adapt that as a story instead of race swapping another redhead? I believe Little Mermaids is a Danish um, fairy tale or something like that. I could be mistaken if I am. Somebody could correct me in the comments. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. But it's a story involving a, a white character. You've gone out of your way to race swap this character, putting some really bad CJ that doesn't look like it's underwater at all. And the thing about it is that they're claiming racism, but there is no racial um undertone because the, 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 the trailer has been ratioed heavily. It's over two million now compared to, to some 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 two million to over two million dislikes compared to I think a couple hundred couple hundred thousand um um thumbs up, but the dislikes are, are, are running away with and they're claiming racism but there is no such racism when it comes to other movies or, or should i say other trailers featuring prominent black characters even like wakanda forever i didn't really like the trailer if i need the thing not looking all that good but people people give it up but, they, but they, there is more up votes and than down votes for it it's not racism People are sick and tired of what Disney is doing. Disney has turned into such a soulless company that you're not getting anything out of it that you can say, well, okay, this is something I can get into anymore. People want original, interesting works and you're not doing that. What? And when people come on and say, well, okay, so why can't a black character portray, okay, what's a black why can't a black actress portray little women or cutting that is not why it's done it's not done because disney wants to be diversified or um you know inclusive all that no that's the lie that they tell you the reason they're doing this is to check boxes because um take the, the recently gone academy awards and you know 
we all remember the whole thing where um, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and all of that. But that's, that, 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 was, that was part of the course or whatever. But they actually announced there, I think, I think it was around beforehand at them, m- upcoming movies and things won't even be considered for nomination unless they have inclusivity, diversity, um, this, that, 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 that's what they're going to. So it's no longer about making good movies, interesting stories, telling stories the way, the way, that, the way that they're supposed to be told and having people connect to them via that. No, that's not what's happening. What they, what they want you to do is anything that you do must have this box checked, that box checked, the other box checked. And that, that is the only way you are going to be recognized to do anything in this industry whatsoever. That's what it boils down to. I heard somebody somebody asked the question, why couldn't they just do a live action movie of the um, Princess and the Frog? That was a movie that, that they made starring, uh, that, was, that was an anime, the way that the, the, um, the, 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 lead, the lead princess in that one was black. If they decide to do that, they might decide to make her white or something else. These people are not interested in making good stories anymore because it's no longer about, they keep using this thing that, you know, you want to, you want to put characters there that people could see themselves and be inspired. Kind of How many children watch The Little Mermaid? Little girls who watch Little Mermaid and, and saw the princess and, and wanted, wanted to be like her. They didn't see race, they didn't see color, they didn't see, you know, all this other stuff. They just saw an interesting, pretty princess and they wanted to be that. But no, you've gone, you've gone out of your way to race so up yet another redhead and expect people to believe that, you know, oh, the reason people don't like this is because why everybody's racist. It has nothing to do with the fact that people are catching on, literally catching on to what you're doing. This is Disney's modus operandi you now. Changing things they have no business changing. Look at the Mulan live action movie that they did. The Mulan um, animated movie was was a great movie. People loved it. I saw the movie. I bloody well loved it. It was, it, was, it was a good movie. They did the live action remake of it. And Mulan was just great at everything. She was a fantastic fighter, could harness she chi, could do all those things. All this nonsense that never happened in the animated movie, they put it in. So the whole thing in the, in, in, in the animated movie of seeing Mulan have to go through the training and struggle and, you know, rise, whatever, all of this thing that made the struggle, that made it so good, is gone. They just replaced it by that. This is pretty much the same thing that they have done with this movie. All they're doing is just swapping in a black character for, for Little Mermaid. Ray swapping yet another yet redhead and telling you that if you don't like this movie, you're a racist. No, people don't like it because they see what you're doing. The CGI for it looks terrible, doesn't look like she's, doesn't look like she's underwater at all. The whole, the whole reasoning behind the movie makes no sense. It should not, it should not, it should not exist in the first place. Make an original movie. You clearly have the money to do it. You just don't want to. All you want to know is, listen, we're just going to check this box. So next time the Academy Awards roll around, we can, we'll all get praised for being so diversified, even though the movie, you know, the movie may very well suck. That's it. And anybody who doesn't like it, is a racist. This is what they do. They come out calling you racist before you get anything done. Look at what happened in the Obi Wan Kenobi series. Reaver, played by Moses Ingram, they came out calling everybody racist about that character. He was such a racist and a racist and you were racist. The character was horrible. I said so. I reviewed all, I reviewed every episode. Even even the shell media said that at, at the come out and and admit Reaver was horrible. This is not about race. This is about people wanting good characters, good storytelling. And you want to check boxes and, and all you want to turn around and do is call everybody a racist for not loving the nonsense that you're putting out. That's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.